dear friends uh, this presentation gives you the concept of the standard state space of presentation it's a topic from module 3 the standard state, state space of presentations using transfer functions are CCF controllable canonical form also known as phase variable form OCF observable canonical form DCF diagonal canonical form also known as canonical form and a subcase of DCF that is JCF Jordan canonical form now to get the the standard representation of these four representations consider n total system with the differential equation as shown below now by taking Laplace transform with the zero initial conditions and rearranging the terms we can obtain the transfer function in polynomial format that is y of s by u of s equal to b0 s raised to n plus b1 s raised to n minus 1 plus etc plus bn divided by s raised to n plus a1 s raised to n minus 1 plus etc plus an now you can observe the numerator is in polynomial form and denominator is in polynomial form here we taken the numerator degree and denominator degree as the same okay now coming to the controllable canonical form the general format is given below we know uh, the state space of presentation is x dot equal to a x plus b u and y is equal to c x plus d u here the since it is a nth order system we have n state variables x1, x2, etc. up to xn. Now to fill the matrix A of controllable canonical form, it has the format like this. The first row is 0, 1, 0, etc. up to 0. The second row is 0, 0, 1, then 0, etc. up to 0. That is 1 is shifted towards right. The previous row of last row, it becomes like this that is 0 0 etc last element is 1 now the last row to fill the last row we need the information of the denominator polynomial coefficients minus a n minus a n minus 1 etc up to minus a 1 now the matrix b it is all the elements are zeros except the last element last element is 1 and the matrix c it is b n minus a n b 0 b n minus 1 minus a n minus 1 b 0 etc up to b 1 minus a 1 b 0 if b 0 is absent then the matrix c reduced to b n b n minus 1 etc up to b 1 ok then coming to the observable canonical form it is a standard format is like this here the matrix a b c d if you are comparing with the the, observ the controllable canonical form you can see that the matrix A of observable canonical form it is the transpose of the matrix A of controllable canonical form the matrix A of controllable canonical form similarly the matrix B of observable canonical form it is the transpose of matrix C of controllable canonical form also the matrix C of observable canonical form is the transpose of B matrix of controllable canonical form so again here also to get to the observable canonical form we need the informations of the numerator polynomial coefficients and denominator polynomial coefficients now this is the uh, the comparison between CCF and OCF. Now coming to the diagonal canonical form, that is, if the given transfer function is in polynomial form, the first step to get to the diagonal canonical form is that we need to change the denominator to first order terms. That is, we have to change the denominator as s plus p1 into s plus p2 into etc up to s plus pn, where minus p1 minus p2 etc up to minus pn they are the poles locations then we need to make the partial fraction expansion of the transfer function so it becomes b0 plus c1 by s plus p1 plus c2 by s plus p2 etc up to cn by s plus pn now to form the diagonal canonical form we need the information of transfer function in this form that is partial fraction form then thereby we can fill the elements of 
the matrix A of diagonal canonical form become the poles locations minus P1 minus P2 etc up to minus Pn and the matrix B it is all the elements are unity all the elements are unity and the matrix C matrix C is nothing but the residues of the residues of partial fraction expansion that is C1, C2, C3 etc up to Cn so in this manner we can find the diagonal canonical form so in order to get the diagonal canonical form we need to express the given transfer function in partial fraction form then we need the poles locations and the residues of each poles that is C1, C2 etc up to Cn now the Jordan canonical form it is a subcase from the diagonal canonical form that is uh, when a system with uh, multiple poles we need to form the Jordan canonical form consider a system with uh, uh, multiplicity of 3 at pole location s equal at s equal to minus p1 now the the uh, transfer function has the form uh, like this now we can find the partial fraction expansion of the above transfer function in this form here we can see b0 plus c1 by s plus p1 whole cube plus c2 by s plus p1 whole square plus c3 by s plus p1 plus c4 by s plus p4 etc up to cn by s plus pn now to get the the matrix a of jordan canonical form we need to fill the diagonal elements initially we have multiplicity of pole at minus p1 is 3 so we need to fill the first three diagonal elements as minus p1 minus p1 minus p1 then followed by minus p4 minus p5 etc up to minus pn then after that we need to make a a 3 by 3 block on the upper left hand of matrix a like this and this 3 by 3 block we have we can fill like this minus p1 followed by 1 then 0 second row of third, uh, the 3 by 3 block is 0 minus p1 1 then third row is 0 0 minus p1 and this block is named as Jordan block then coming to the matrix B here also we have to make a separation like this you can make a separation like the first three elements as first part remaining elements as second part the first part the entries will be 0 0 1 then second part element and entries will be all elements will be 1 then coming to the matrix C it is same as that of uh, the previous one that is we can fill the matrix C by using the residues of by using the residues of the partial fraction expansion now we can uh, consider examples consider a system with a uh, transfer function y of s by u of s equal to s plus 3 divided by s square plus 3s plus 2 now by comparing the standard polynomial we are able to identify the coefficients b0 b1 b2 and the coefficients a1 a2 now if you know the the controllable canonical form standard format we are able to find the controllable canonical form Similarly, if you know the observable canonical form standard format, we can find the observable canonical form. Now, similarly, uh, to get the DCF, diagonal canonical form, the first step is we need to make the transfer function in, in this form. That is, we have to form S plus 3 divided by S plus 1 into S plus 2. And we have, we can change the transfer function into partial fraction as 2 by s plus 1 plus minus 1 by s plus 2 then we have the poles locations are at minus 1 minus 2 and the corresponding residues are 2 and minus 1 then the matrix A becomes diagonal, diagonal entries become minus 1 minus 2 matrix B is 1 1 and matrix C they are the residues 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 now to get the complete idea you just do these assignment questions the first question is regarding CCF and OCF it is directly given transfer function in polynomial form so the by comparing the standard polynomial forms identify the coefficients b1 b2 etc and b0 b0 all the coefficients of numerator and the denominator coefficients 
then go for the CCF and OCF. The second question is uh, to get the diagonal kinetic form, but it is given differential equation of the system. So initially we need to find the transfer function of the system. Then after getting the transfer function, then follow the procedure of diagonal canonical form. Now the last question is regarding the Jordan canonical form. Here you can see a multiple pole sheets happening at s equal to minus 2. Now we have to rewrite the transfer function as 5s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 all square into s plus 1. Then follow the procedure of Jordan canonical form to obtain the uh, state space representation. Yes, okay. Thank you.